Hi, I'm Rick from Marinva Models, a DJI dealer from the UK and model shop for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to be covering doing a hard reset on a DJI Phantom, but this will also refer itself to uh, any of the NASA flight controllers such as the NASA Lite and the NASA V2. Sometimes your, your flight controller can get a little bit jammed and a little bit messed up. Usually happens quite commonly during a a firmware update that goes wrong if there were a power failure during a firmware update or you accidentally kick the uh, USB cable out sometimes what can happen is the uh, flight controller get, can get jammed mid, uh, mid update so uh, in this short video I'm going to show you how to do a hard reset now very important you only try this if you're confident because if you Get it wrong, you could actually brick the flight controller completely and you'll either have to buy a new one or send it back to DGI. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we actually need to take the body shell apart. Um, so you need to unscrew the lid. Many of my videos include how to actually do this. Once you've got the lid open, you will need something you may not have or you may have lying around is one of these. This is basically just a signal cable. So it's just like a servo connector, but either I'll just have like one connection or possibly two connections. Uh, but you could use a normal servo cable as well. Uh, the only bit we're actually interested in is the signal ports. Now, when you look on the front of the DJI flight controller, if you actually look at the writing on top, just move that up you will see you have ports F and port, sorry, ports F1 and F2. Now what we're gonna basically do is we're gonna join these two ports together. Now, if you look in the front of the flight controller, you will actually see there's a, basically a set of pins. The ones that we're looking at is the bottom ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cable. Now as you see, I've just bent one of the cables back because we're actually only gonna need one cable. And what we have to do is we have to connect F F1 port to F2 port via the uh, signal cable which is down at the bottom. So if we just, sorry I'm just going to plug this in. Into one. Sure I've got that in. Right, so you're going to end up like this where you've got uh, the cable joining the signal of F1 port to F2 port. Now, here's the bit. Now what we need to do is we need to actually uh, power it up. Now you hear it's now basically locked into uh, startup mode. Can actually just lay that back down there. And put that aside. Okay, now you can see at the top of the screen in this one, it actually tells you here current version 0, latest version 3.6, because that is basically it, is we are actually got no firmware at the moment. So, what we're going to do, sorry, just my screen's not big enough. Coming down to the bottom, download successful, upgrade. So, that's now going to just basically asking us do we really want to upgrade yes we do because we have no firm we are currently running so we just click on ok and then you'll see from the progress bar it's basically now upgrading the flight controller so that's taken it from a completely white flight controller to uh, fully reinstalled so we just click on ok now here's the key part I just swing back round like that What we need to do before we get any further, because we're going to power cycle. So what power cycling is basically tur turning off and then on again. So first thing we'll need to do, power it down. But before you power it back up again, you need to remember to remove the jumper. Take that off. And then I'm just going to lay the lid back on. And then we're going to power it back up. Now I'm just going to get rid of this announcement off the screen. Uh, Sorry, my screen's not quite big enough. Oops. Click on OK. And then what we'll do, we'll power the Phantom back up. And you will get to see. See, now got a normal beep start up. 
you can now see that we're now on the latest update so uh, latest firmware 3.6 that's at the time of making this video uh, latest version 3.6 there so as you can see we're basically all now back up to scratch now normally if I had the gimbal fitted onto this model you would have the gimbal uh, IMU updates all also coming up here so as you can see that's basically what we've done is we've taken a basically a bricked phantom scrubbed the firmware completely off of it and then reloaded in the uh, latest firmware okay so that was how to completely re or basically do a hard reset of your flight controller uh, back to scratch and then reloading the latest firmware so if you have accidentally bricked your controller because you jumped the USB cable out or you had a power failure on your computer or even the battery went flat inside the model while you were doing a firmware update basically this will pull it back to scratch and re-upload it now as I said to you before at the beginning if you do not feel confident about this do not attempt it or take it to your local dealer now many dealers probably wouldn't do this sort of thing because it's a little bit sort of off the map as it were uh, but if you've got the right parts it's something you can do and let's face it if you've already bricked the controller you can't make it any worse than it already is um, but i hope you found this informative my name is rick from marinka models dji dealer from the uk and model shop for over 40 years uh, check out my other how to videos and uh, i hope you like this so give it a thumbs up uh, share it about tell your friends and i uh, thank you bye